Hello guys. Today I'm trying to make a fun project using shell scripting. As you can see on the screen that already <laughs> clock is ticking and this is what we are going to do today. So I'm the sole purpose to make this video is to help people learn how to use shell scripting. There is not much depth in this thing but then it will give a basic idea how to use shell scripting and how to uh, use loop command or let's say it is an infinite command infinite loop over here so however uh, let's get started with this so we know that if we have to get date or time in our linux we will just have to use the command called date and here is the command that is called date and it is showing the complete uh, day including month as well as date so we just want time over here we don't want anything else so along with the command date we will be using additional command which says plus and percentile and t which gives us the time so uh, to to bring it to more reality let's say i'm using this command again and again just like this in a single line and i'm making it as sleep for one second so this is how we are going to loop loop this copying this and then again i'm pasting the same thing so here we see that the time is coming but again in different line we want time to be in same line while the seconds and the minutes are getting displayed in the same line so what we can do do over here is that we can use a clear command over here so i will just copy this thing copy paste this thing and then at the beginning i will try to add clear command and then try to add so as we have added clear over here you you will see the change now you can observe this so as many commands as we gave like around 3 to 4 the second stick like that fell four times and then it stopped so we have to make it an automated mode so that it can continually keep on running so i believe if you are watching this video you must have known how to write a shell script right so i'm just directly going ahead and creating it as shell script so i dg dot sh so i'm just giving it a random name here let's start with our shabong line slash bash so so if at all if we have to use an infinite loop in this particular shell script we will be using while true so one software will give uh, this use this particular loop command we'll be using do and then we will write our first command over here clear and then we will be echoing it using our command which we have used to bring out the time and then sleep for one second because we have to get the seconds ticked again and again so this is basically our shell script now and then i'm saving and executing it and giving it the executable rights
so we have got our shell script ready and then we are going to execute it right now so you can see that we have got it in infinite loop and the time is continually ticking over here and it is on running until or unless we press ctrl c so that we can exit that particular shell script so as you can see i have also added color in that um, the existing shell script so to add colors we'll go to our uh, shell script once again and you can google it actually how to add colors to text so um, text in linux shell scripts or executables we will find it in google so for every shell script we are going to i'm just i have already uh, made made note of these things so i'm just copy pasting these things i will add them in description so you can use them for your shell script so these are the commands these are the variables which will describe the color for our uh, uh, date execution so what we have to do is since i have given the variables over there i will just have to mention echo dollar the color of whatever the color which i want to use now so let's say if i'm if i want to use green i'll be using dollar green over here so that it can reflect back to this particular variable which will redirect to the font color and i'm saving it so let's just execute our shell script once again as you can see now the command is sorry the time is running in green color so if at all if you want to change the change the color you just have to go back to your shell script and then just change the color so let's say if i want to use blue so this is how we can make use of shell script to make a lifetime live watch we can call it well so hopefully this will help you you can plan your own uh, executions like this do small small uh, um projects like this so that you can get habit about it with shell scripting this is the end have a great day ahead bye bye